when you carve out a slice of hoof horn like this, you never know what you might find. This is the Hoof GP. After trimming hundreds of thousands of cow's feet over years and years, it still amazes me how okay a cow's foot can look, even although we know they're incredibly lame. So there's something causing a problem underneath the surface. Take this one for example. It doesn't look particularly bad, but she is in an incredible amount of pain. And we're just about to try and find the cause of all of that discomfort and do something about it. Almost instantly, we realize that outer claw is delaminated, meaning there are multiple layers of hoof horn forming. This happens when a cow has a problem and the formation of hoof horn is interrupted and then it begins to reform. In this case, these stones are to blame. We need to get them all out of that cavity. These cows live outside on green grass here in southwest Scotland, so it stands to reason that from time to time, stones are going to impact and cut their way through the sole of a cow's foot and cause problems just like the one you're seeing right now. Luckily though, the farmers who own this farm are very diligent indeed, and once signs of lameness start to show, we are called into action to do everything we can to get them back to full health. Although there were stones inside this cow's foot, it's very rare that they actually cause the problem themselves. Usually there's some kind of discrepancy in the sole of the cow's foot, which allows the stone to penetrate through the outer layers of hoof horn and into the corium. Once that happens, you have a real issue and pain is almost always about to follow. My knife is able to take huge slithers of hoof horn away if I so wish, but I need to be careful. I am fractions of millimetres in some cases away from the delicate tissue below what you can see right now. If you look carefully at the heart of this problem, you can see the corium peeking through from the hard outer hoof shell itself. It being exposed is what is causing the problem, but I need to make sure there are no detached flaps or layers of hoof horn around the edges because if there are, mud, muck, manure, dirt, really anything that is present can make its way into the hoof capsule and make this problem even worse. I should really have taken the toe area a little bit lower, so that's what I'm doing right now with the grinder. If that block were to come off, I want the outside claw to be as low as possible so that it's not touching the ground, but with Hoof Grip Pro being used, it's very unlikely this block will actually come off. It's more likely to wear down over time, and once it does wear down, I'm hoping and betting that the problem is completely healed. 